guys, I'm James Haskell and I'm joined here by former Wasps and Great Britain rowing chef to prepare some lovely food for you. Now the first recipe of today is very simple. It's smoked mackerel, baked eggs, beetroot and spinach. Omar, take it away Chief. Mate, really, really quick, really, really simple, very delicious breakfast, okay? So in our bowl, we've got some butter beans, okay? Really and good these job. are pre-cooked, okay? We've got some spinach, some baby spinach. Okay. Nice little mutton that we're in there. Just going to lay on top of the butter beans. Didn't touch the salt, remember? A pinch of salt saves everything. As Pierre Coffin says, the difference between good food and bad food is a pinch of salt. Mm. So we've got some tomato sauce. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. How to make really quick, very delicious tomato sauce. Okay. So we're just going to go over with a little bit of the sauce. Okay. We are going to chop up a little bit of the beetroot. Is I mean, it a substitute for we don't like beetroot? Or? Yeah, absolutely. There's no real rules with this. So at rowing, I make a similar version of this. We get some Sharifo sausage, we roast it in the oven, okay? We then take some, some beans, some haricot beans, and we cook them in some tomato sauce. We then mix those together. We then put a little bit of chilli, a little bit of Cajun spice, some spinach in the bottom, we crack some eggs on the top, a tiny bit of Gruyere cheese in the oven. Delicious, mate. It's interesting enough, with the beetroot, um, there's a new shot out there called Beat It, which is a, um, a beetroot supplement shot, con uh, beetroot concentrate, that people take before uh, performing sport. The England rugby team take it as well. This would be great uh, as a breakfast pre-trainer, because you've obviously got um, the greens in there, the smoked mackerel, you've got your protein, um, you've also got the eggs, which you've got your good fats in there, so you're pretty much on fire before you've even started. So mate, so I've just sliced up the mackerel, stuck that in there, all we're simply going to do is crack some eggs over the top, okay? And obviously if you want to reduce fat and you're, when you're you know, really worried about body composition, you can take the, um, the yolks out, I assume it would still work with the, with the egg whites? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I mean if, it, if I was going to get rid if I was going to get rid of the yolks, um, it might be a slightly more rubbery on top okay. there. You know, the fat in the egg is quite essential to this dish. Again, a tiny little bit of salt, a tiny little bit of pepper, and we're going to pop that in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, about 180 degrees Celsius. We have an amazing quick breakfast. How long did that take us? No, it's no time at all. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think it was stopwatch out, but it must have been only about three or four minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really simple, very quick. And again, like we said earlier, you can come up with any variation to this that you like. Anything, anything you enjoy eating, stick it in a bowl, crack some eggs, boom. So, straight out of the oven. Our smoked mackerel, beetroot, spinach, and baked eggs. And James, get stuck into that, mate. It looks so good, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love how the boat baked eggs are set around everything as well. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of mackerel in there, loads of spinach. Just ram pack full of goodness and really easy to make. And you know, you can prep it the night before, yeah? Mm. So prep it all the night before, get it in the bowl, okay? And then literally, First thing in the morning, pop it in the oven, 180, anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes, and you have a delicious breakfast. I really like that, I love the texture as well. The fish tastes fantastic with the, uh, with the beans and the eggs. Mate, it's unbelievable. Good, mate. If you want to find out more, please visit our website, jamesaskell.com. Omar has his own site for recipes if you want to expand your knowledge. And obviously, as we talked about, this is a lifestyle choice, so we're always adding bits on. Go to his website, eatfreshfeelfresh.co.uk. We'll be back soon with many more recipes. Thanks for watching.